Welcome to the Creative Advantage, Creative Ideas for Barry Mitchell Products. And today, Creative Ideas for the Showtime Magic Table, ShowtimeMagic.com. Got several ideas that I like to call table dressing, and I'm just going to go through them. Hopefully, they will inspire you in some way. First of all, one of the things that I like to do with a Showtime table, which is uh, Velcro, Velcro friendly, is I put a little Velcro tab just at the top in the center. And the reason for that is so that I can find the center of whatever uh, display I'm putting on the table. I can easily find it and uh, pop it right on. Now, I personally, this is a uh, cloth banner that I got from Tim Sonnefeld, wonderimagery.com. He can make those custom for you. Uh, I am not a fan of revealing the handle of the table. Some magicians will use that to hold a prop. Uh, to me, it just looks a little tacky, but that's just my opinion. So uh, I like to cover that in some way. Something like this is a fine option. You can have that printed. There's lots of other options. This is something uh, rather inexpensive that you can also have printed. Uh, this com came from a, a company called PickYourPlum.com. If you go on PickYourPlum.com, you can uh, find out about printing this. It's actually considered a, a cape for a child, like a superhero cape. We uh, had this printed. You just print a name, and then my wife sewed around the edge and sewed some Velcro on. So it's an inexpensive, if you catch them on sale, it's an inexpensive way to have a cloth banner, but you're limited to the fact that you can only have your name on there. Now there's some other options. This is one of our favorites because we sell production banners. Our production banners have magnets in the corners and those will connect easily on the back to uh, allow you to have, and I'll tell you how in just a second, just using a binder clip for that, allow you to display one of those. So you can actually produce this during your show and then wrap that around the table. So that's a, a nice way to do that. Our friend Larry Lipton had this idea and he shared that with us because when he produces our Smile Maker banner out of our uh, Super Screen Temple Screen, he ends by taking the uh, Smile banner out and wraps that around the table and just like so, so that smile that he produced during the show is there visible for the kids the entire time. Really dresses up the table. And all this is about table dressing. Now the table that you're looking at is from ShowtimeMagic.com. Christopher Weed made this one a little differently. It actually has a, a pull-up handle. Makes it very easy to travel and to roll it around. I highly recommend when you invest in your Showtime table, get the one with the handle. It's really nice, okay? Alright, let's see what else we have to share with you. This is something that I first revealed on uh, my new DVD called On Your Mark. Get Set, Succeed, and this was an idea for a backdrop. If you're using the Jeff Jones Magic Backdrop, we came up with this as a ribbon to go around the backdrop. And it occurred to me, and I show on the uh, DVD how we made this and everything, it occurred to me that this would also make great table dressing. And so my wife took that same ribbon and so that, put a little few darts in it there, so that it would connect to the table. And it is simply connecting with Velcro here on the side of the table, like so. Looks really good. The reason for that is that in our show, we're going to have some uh, Olympic themes in the show. And so we're using a gold medal. Okay. The gold medal is uh, actually something that we talk about on, uh, on the DVD. It's very, the nice thing about it is it compresses for shipping, and all I did was uh, draw a one on there. We sewed a magnet in the uh, corner there so that the metal rim actually attaches to it, hangs there very well. Looks really sharp and has that nice image for an Olympic theme in your show. So there's another way to dress your table. Now a moment ago, I said that you can connect the uh, production banner using magnets in the back. And here's how we're going to do that. 
just a uh, binder clip. These things are wonderful. This is the large size of binder clips. You can find these at places like Staples as well as Walmart and they will clip on the, onto the wood and then when you clip that on you flip them up and that gives you a solid metal surface right on the back edge of the table and that's the surface that you will attach your magnet to from the corner of the production banner or if you make yourself something that's a way to do that now if the magnet on the banner or whatever it is you're using is small and you're worried about it coming off during the show then here's a way to solve that in this case, I used yellow duct tape because it doesn't matter. I'm the only one that sees it. I took a strong magnet and taped that to the edge of uh, the binder clip. So that means that you're going magnet to magnet and it'll be much stronger and you won't have to worry about it coming off during your show, okay? So there's another idea for you. Now let's get really exciting and give you more ways to use the Velcro friendly table. Over the years, I've come up with some ideas that I really like. First of all, let's speak about Velcro. One of my uh, favorite types of Velcro is the double-sided. So one side is fuzzy and one side is sticky. comes in a roll. You can get that at uh, places like Lowe's or uh, Walmart. And the nice thing about it is not only does it connect together, okay, but you can easily just keep it on your table. So I have a line of different pieces here, different lengths, just here on the table in case for some reason at the last minute I need to connect something to the table. Now the other beautiful thing about this is that if you nick the table, and I actually, you probably can't see it, but down here I nick the table. I hit it on something really hard which exposed the wood, but that's not a problem. Just simply wrap that around the edge and it covers it up. Obviously, if you have a black table, it covers it up. So that's uh, uh, another benefit if you're using a black table. In my case, I always get a black table because I know that I'm going to cover it, and so I remember, I don't really like the handle exposed. Just a personal thing. Now, of course, you can use... Uh, um, you can have banners printed and uh, plastic signs that will go over the front. That's some great options as well. All right, let's get excited about some other ways to use our Velcro friendly table. This is a set of boxes that comes from Ikea. They're really nice because you zip it up and you have a nice little box. So here's the way I use that. I took a piece of the industrial strength Velcro. This is the sticky side that sticks to the uh, table. And I simply folded that over so you've got sticky and sticky. And then stuck that to the inside of the little box there. And so that will fold over and now I've got a box attached. Now I use this in the back of the table to hold my small silks, palmo balls, things like that. I like those easily grabbable there uh, at the top of the table so I don't have to reach for it. I'm, I'm very particular about the way I stage my show and I do my best to try to avoid reaching down into the table and ducking my head behind the table. So I really try to stage my show so I simply have to walk to the table and grab what I need and this allows me to have that there easily accessible. So it's a really neat idea and of course you can use that with larger ones as well but you don't have to stop there because you can even use the table as a, as a magic trick for part of your uh, tricks. This is just one of the little collapsible cans. They come in a variety of colors. Uh, this particular one clips together with Velcro, which makes it really nice because that means the Velcro is already there for you. You can get smaller ones and you could actually have uh, two or three of them line in across the front of the table and do some type of force. So it's just one more way to use your Velcro friendly super uh, magic uh, showtime magic uh, back. Um, I forgot what I'm looking at. <laughs> your showtime magic tables. One more way to use that. Now this is a silly idea. I don't know that it's going to benefit you because the box is a better idea. But I found this at Walmart on clearance. Just a little soap dish that you would uh, has little suction cups to stick that to the side of the shower. I put some of the industrial Velcro there so that that will stick to the side of the table. Not, not as good of an idea as the uh, boxes, but if you don't have an Ikea near you, then that does give you another option. 
Okay, when I talk about table dressing, this is something that I have always keep in the table, and it's just a little clock uh, with Velcro on the bottom so that I can Velcro that right there to the corner of my table, and to me that's vital to have during the show. I don't want to have to reach down and touch my phone to know what time it is. It's just a, a simple way you can get one of those, order them on Amazon or something like that. Okay, this is one of my favorite ideas. This actually came from Dollar Tree and it is a hook that goes over the door so that bend would come down like that and all I did was bend that up uh, and then put some velcro there and stick that just like so. So it's it's going to stay because the weight is pressing here but I'm going to give it a little more security with a piece of that velcro and just wrap that right there. Now what's that for? Well you could use it for rope or something like that but uh, it will hold your set of linking rings. We'll, uh, let's, okay, they got all jammed up somehow or other. Uh, it'll hold your set of linking rings. Have those to the side of your table. Once again, makes it easy to grab it. And also, if you're doing a kid's show, anything you have like this on the table, in my opinion, dresses up the show and it allows kids to wonder, ooh, what's that? What's that? What are, what are those little things over there? So sometimes the more things you have visible in your show, the more exciting it is for kids to wonder what it could be. Uh, the hook is probably one of my favorite additions. But I have more favorite additions. This is one that we uh, came up with because we really needed a way to store the uh, appearing pole after we produce it. Uh, we use our pole control, which is our gimmick that allows you to have better control of producing the appearing pole and do an appearing pole in virtually every show I do. In some way, we produce a pole because the pole control makes it so easy to do an appearing pole. So then the question is, what do you do with that? Uh, if you have a backdrop, you can lean it against your backdrop. I've done that some, but there's a chance it's going to fall over. You can walk behind the backdrop and put it back there. But I think it's really neat if it stays visible to the audience the entire show. And here's how we do that. This is just a piece of PVC pipe. And I put some black duct tape around that. There's a couple little Velcro dots there. And then there's a strip. And these are the uh, fuzzy side Velcro, just a couple dots. And there's the uh, sticky side Velcro because that's the side that's going to stick to the table. The reason for those dots is because I've got another strip of that Velcro that I like so much. They connect to the dots there and then that just gives it a little more security. So it's very easy for me to pick this up and slide it right into the, uh, uh, the, the tube, all right, the piece of PVC pipe. Not so easy to do that here uh, because of the ceiling, but easy to do in the show, and that way it sits right beside the table the entire show. If I'm going to move the table, I just make sure that I reach over and lift it up about an inch as I roll the table to the side. So that's another one of my favorite ideas to use with an appearing pole when you produce one of those. All right, let's see if we have anything else in here. Goodness gracious, I believe we have covered just about everything we have for now, but I say for now because we're always coming up with new and creative ideas to use the Showtime table and to dress it up as well as dress up our show. Hope you enjoyed these ideas. Hope you can use them. This is Barry Mitchell with BarryMitchellProducts.com. We also talked about ShowtimeMagic.com, WonderImagery.com, where you can get those uh, uh, banners printed for your table. And if you need design work, I use Jay Rumpel. You can look up Jay Rumpel uh, in Facebook and find him for all of my design work. Thank you very much.